Barkeep, pour me a drink. Hey, Bar, spin that shit. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Digi Tavern. I'm J114. This is Databots. Hey, how's it going? This is Databots. And today is the first episode of the Digi Tavern. And Databots here, my man, he's going to tell us what we're all about. This is technically our first episode, but we did have an episode zero. It's which true. It's, it, we, you know, when we talked about us, really, and what we're all about. This is more... Uh, the podcast, how we're going to go about it. Right. So it is going to be co-hosted by me, Databots, and J114. It's mostly going to be us for the foreseeable future, just me and him, talking about lore. Because I do not know anyone else around here that likes lore as much as he does, or as much as I do. But if, if someday we meet someone else, they might join us. We don't know. I mean, it's not only lore, though. Like, I think we're... I think a lot of it has to do with with the immersion that lore gives us when we when we play a game. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, very true, very true. Like that's the big thing. That's kind of like the big reason why this podcast is kind of taking its shape is because I think you and I both do the same things. When we play a game, we tend to immerse ourselves into our character, which helps us like just get into the storyline that much better. And in the big, the lore is a big part of it, because if you want to imagine what world you're living in, you can't just, I don't know, especially if there's like certain creatures or something, you kind of want to know what they're about. And that's what we're going to kind of deep dive in this. This is almost like you can treat it as a, uh, a compendium to the video games that you're playing. You know, you don't have to read it, you don't have to listen to this, but... It just kind of adds that little bit more for the people who are interested in really immersing themselves in this world right. that we play. And I think it's it's been something that we've been working on for some time. And it's finally, hopefully, getting to a place where it's coming to fruition. It's going to take a little bit of work, a little bit of effort on both of our parts, getting comfortable behind the mics. But it's something that we just got to work on a, daily, on a weekly basis. And hopefully we can get there. Oh, yeah. I think we can. Especially if uh, we do it how we, we're going to do it going forward. Um, I do want to talk about the how kind of how we're going to frame this Digi Tavern podcast. Sure. Yeah. 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 The And the framework is going to just kind of help us help you guys, the listeners, kind of understand what we're trying to get at with this podcast. It's... It's easy enough to be like, yeah, we're going to talk about lore, we're going to talk about immersion, we're going to talk about this and that. But we'd like for you guys to have a good understanding of what we're trying to do. That way it's not like, whoa, these dudes are jumping left and right. Like, th- there's a structure to it. Yeah. And uh, we, the thing I could talk about, maybe we'll do like two segments. Because we also want to talk about just random things. Because that's just what me and Johnny do. We just talk about random things. So yeah, I want to call that makes section... Yeah, I want to talk, I want to make that the digi chats, and then there we'll kind of talk about whatever we want. But I do want to have kind of a something that if someone just wants to know about more and they want to hear us talk about anything else, they can kind of they can kind of get to it. It's just easy for them to access that. Right. And so that's why we're gonna cut it up into two sections. Yeah. And lore is a big thing for us right now. Like I think that's gonna. That's really going to push our podcasting. And then that's that's going to be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm excited. In our Digi Chats, I do want to kind of have some some my, some my structure there too. So we do want to talk about certain things, certain weeks, certain months, just to get you guys used to how, we, how what we're all about. And we really don't know how what we're all about either because we're just starting, right? But we'll we'll get there with you guys. Even though we've been doing it for like two years now. <laughs> yeah, it kind of goes to show that how much work actually goes into this. 
if you really want to do it, if you really want to do a podcast, I don't know, maybe it's just natural to some people. Sit down, hit record, and it comes out, but uh, some other some other people, it does take a little bit of work. I mean, to be fair, we've had other things happen. Like, this is a lot of personal stuff that we're doing. It just kind of keeps us from being able to, to do this on a regular basis. But, you know, here we are, still trying. Yeah. We're going to do it. We're going to do it live. Fuck it. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, uh, we're, we are we're going to cuss this podcast, so it's fine. Yeah. Sorry about that. And I'm if not, but it's fine. Any, any, <laughs> any children present, uh, leave the room at this point. No, not really. NSFW. Just don't tell nobody. And he has a son. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, now the world knows. Thank you. Thank you really. Oh, oh, yeah. One of the one million people in the world who has a son. That could have been a daughter. Now they know. You really, now they you don't sp- know. You're just like spoiling things. <laughs> I could have said I had a kid, you know. You could have said, yeah, he has a kid. Yeah, no, you have to child. spoil the fact that I have a specific kid. Look, it's 2019. We can't assume anyone's gender anymore. True. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, cool. Join us in our endeavor. We do also have some future plans for the podcast. Uh, some little baby projects here and there that we want to do. Got some gems yeah. in the works. It looks sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah you might have heard about them, and we, we were just kind of still building them up in our episode zero. So we talk about it a little bit more in depth there, I think. Uh, but for now, it's just our lore podcast. We're gonna have one like we do have the Digi Tavern lore discussion podcast, but we also want to do more of a uh, a production based. Uh, podcast where we'll have like voice acting and just, just facts only kind of thing and that's going to be J1's uh, J114's baby project if you want to discuss about that briefly yeah so Lore is a podcast that it... and I spoiled that for you so thank you <laughs> nice uh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Lore is a project that that I've been considering for a while, and I think I tried to do it through YouTube for a minute there with having like with like having to do with like WoW and doing with like ESO, but the format that I was kind of going after kind of already existed on YouTube, and there are a lot of people out there who do it better than I ever could. So the idea of making it into a podcast, short, quick little snippets of history and lore i thought was would be a good idea so we've been coming up with some with some episodes and some some clips and we've got some cool things in the works right now like there's a lot of good music a lot of good voice acting and i'm fortunate enough that i get to use my voice acting because i we like to play D a lot so i'm able to use that skill in something like this as well but um so it will sound a little weird sometimes, but I'm, I'm working on doing voices and whatnot. But it's cool. But Lore is going to cover an expansive amount of information as far as like World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, including like the main games, 1 through 6. The new one should be coming out pretty soon. I'd like to do things other games like maybe The Witcher. I know that's, that's one of Dad about his favorite games. Um, hell, even Destiny has a great lore background. So we can do things like that, but... Yeah, we're taking it all in stride right now and just little bit by little bit and hopefully we can get those cranked out here in a couple of couple of weeks yeah hopefully all right so i want to talk about the npc podcast which is uh kind of going to be my baby project that i'm going to be working on um i'm still not 100 percent sure where that's going i'm not 100 percent comfortable with it uh but it will it will happen because I do like the idea and I believe that there is some value in it. So I'm going to pursue that. Uh, you just all, all I'm going to throw out there today is the name of it, which is going to be the NPC podcast. And it's a really cool project in the works. I will say like it, the concept is so good. 
Um, I think it brings a lot of what we're trying to do with our podcast into form through a segment. And I think it, though it's not quite polished and clean yet, the overall structure and idea of it is pretty cool. And I think it, it, it gets a lot of people involved and that's the best thing about it. Yeah, this, which is uh, what we really want from most of this is to you know, build a community out there like-minded people and yeah so if you do enjoy lore you like video games um you like movies music cool music like Juani's cool intro uh you're welcome to the digital hey, yeah, podcast yeah. hope you keep listening we're gonna we'll see you back here in just a second we're gonna take a quick break Welcome back from our short break. Uh, we're going to jump into our DigiChat section of the podcast. This is where we have reoccurring uh, kind of segments where we discuss stuff that might not be related to lore, but we still you know, have a good discussion about, at least related to video games. So let's go ahead and start with uh, what have you been playing? Uh, for me, I've been playing, uh, I did try that Apex Legends video game. Lame. <sighs> We're not friends anymore. <laughs> anyway, jokes on you. I got offended when you said that game was crap. I, was oh, like, God. I didn't Ugh. like it. That's fine, you know, because you suck at games. I get it. I mean, whatever. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not my fault that I was champion. Like one of my first games. Whatever. Like, you yeah, got like half cool. your team killed. Get the hell out of here. No, no, no. That's that's, that's cool. Look, the, the battle royale aspect of gaming is just oh, oh it's overplayed and there's three games it's, it's oh and it's overplayed okay it is so, overplayed i mean you can't say there's too many mmos no, out there no 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 i'm no, not no, gonna no, play no, MMOs no, no 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 there's no, too no, many no 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 there you can't no 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 that's what i'm getting from this no 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 we're talking about like the whole survival of the fittest battle royale bullcrap game. I mean, like, let's put it this way: when you have games like Arma Three, you have Daisy. Uh, what is that? Uh, Seven Days to Die. Uh, you have now this game, and you have the new version of Black Ops. But when you're all and PUBG, and when you're all losing to a game that was made. For 14, 15, 15 year olds named Fortnite, you suck. The game concept sucks. It Whoa. sucks. It's, but a t- Apex Legend it's not the best concept. Fortnite. It's not the best concept. I cannot get down with the Battle Royales. And especially one that's so heavily team based. Good luck finding people who are willing to talk to you on, on the console, especially. And see, that's that's where you kind of don't get what's good about Apex Legends. You don't have to talk to anybody. There's a ping system that they they invented for the battle royale type games. That you you've seen it before in games like Dota Two. Right, or, and the ping system doesn't always work. I mean, like, oh no, it works really good. It doesn't. This. I didn't say it didn't work. I said it doesn't always work. Yeah, well, in Apex Legends and for the battle royale, it works really well so i've never really been into battle royale games but after playing apex legends like i'm not saying i'm not gonna play anything else i'm just saying for free game so far i've got like 10 hours of really fun gameplay okay that's fine i, I give you I, I give you another month until you give up on that game i'm, I'm gonna give up on it but i didn't pay a dime for it but people were going to pay a dime for it. They're going to spend yeah, money on crates. On lo- the loot crate system. Like That's their money. I'm not going to... It's garbaggio. <laughs> hey, the people can spend the money however they want. No, people should not spend money on that. Like, don't invest in these... You know who started that? <sighs> Overwatch. And you're all about that game. No, 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 no. 
in-game buying system has been around for freaking ever. But who made it kind of like Counter Strike? Ooh, look at this! Look at this prize. Counter Strike box open up. Counter Strike made that what it is because those gun skins back in the day used to be valuable, like actual money. People would sell their gun skins in the Counter Strike game in real life. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about tell me that. I'm wrong because that's a loot crate system. It's exactly what that is. So what about the people in World of Warcraft who there's sell no, their there's accounts? There's no crate system in WoW. Yeah, but what about the in World of Warcraft, like people who sell their accounts for like thousands of dollars? I mean, that's... I mean, people are going to spend their money how they want to spend their money. Okay, but now you're splitting the, the conversation what we're talking about. What we're talking about is like the loot crate system. If we're talking about like well, how loot people crate spend their money... Around. Yeah, people will spend their money in the most dumbest of ways. I mean, I do it. No, I get it. I get it. I do get it. And then I really, like, it's it's going to happen naturally. Like, we can get in a conversation later of how I personally think video games are too cheap. The whole point, the whole point of what I'm saying so is... So they got to make their money somehow. Okay, that's fine. The whole point of what I'm talking about is Battle Royale, Apex Legends, Garbaggio. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's not for everyone. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I like it. I mean, that's fine. So, I mean, like, yeah, it, sure. the concept is, is cool, whatever, but I mean, like, it's just, it's it's going to get played out so fast, and it's just, at some point, people are going to be like, yeah, I'm done with this. And that's fine. I didn't spend a dime on it. Yet. So, what have you been playing, Joy? Oh, you know, doing my wild things, too. <laughs> Oh it's always dabble back into Skyrim when I can. Not Shake bad. things up. I've also been playing uh, Metro. Like the, I went back to play yeah, when Metro it's not 23. Crashing on you. And yeah, it kept crashing on me. And then I also uh, uh, went to play Metro Last Light because at one point I couldn't get past a certain level in Metro 23 because the game was just bugged. And I think I figured out how to fix that, but I didn't even bother with it. I just kind of say, you know what, I'm like two, I think I was like two missions before the end of it, so I just skipped it. And yeah, I'm having fun with Metro Last Light. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool to go back and play some like FPS games. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know if there's an FPS game that I care enough to go back to. I mean, Destiny. I mean, I mean, I like Destiny. I do like Destiny. But once I start remembering how much of a grind it is, I'm just like, damn. I'd rather be doing this in WoW. Because <laughs> I'm more further along in WoW than I am in Destiny. True, true. So I was like, I'm going to spend you're my time more, grinding. You're more it's invested be bad. in that. But you know who's zero invested in a game? Me on Apex Legends. I've spent zero dollars on it. Blech. <laughs> Blech. I played it. I actually haven't played it in a couple of days, but I just haven't played any game. I mean, it's great that it's free, cool, but I mean, like, what you, we all know what's gonna happen. What battle royale tech Tetris someday? Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Down uh, yeah. AF. That already came out, or yeah. Let's and then I'm gonna look forward to battle royale Minesweeper. So what games are you looking forward to? I think we had a short discussion during our break, but I don't know if you really are looking forward to any games that are coming out this year or beyond. I don't really know anymore, like, honest. Like, I really don't know anymore. I'm more focused on, like, whatever comes up, comes up. Because I got into the trend where I used to look forward to games, used to pre-order them, buy into the hype, and then they come out, I get them, day one, play them. And that was it. Like I just yeah, we, I think we had a discussion about that before on our episode zero, where we talked about uh, how you like to buy games day one and how I like to wait for them. Well, I mean, like I, I was a big advocate for day one purchasing because I thought like it would be it was an event. Like back in the day, it was an event, but now it's just like there's too many games you can't keep it's, up it's with. It, so. That and it's just like there isn't. Games aren't grabbing me like they used to, basically. Like, 
like I'm more content playing a game that I've been playing for the longest, like Skyrim, rather than looking forward to a new game that's coming out. Like Kingdom Hearts just came out, picked it up, haven't played it yet, but oh my god, you picked it I'll up. get to it at some point. But I definitely didn't pre-order it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't buy new games anymore. That's just me. And it, it, it gives me a chance to actually go back and read up on some older games. There's there's quite a few games that I want to go back that I know have deep lore in them and I want to go back and play. And now that it's been out for a while, I could probably play it with the best patching and then just immerse myself in that world. I think I saw one that you had was like two worlds. I've been, I've been wanting to go back and play that. Have you ever played that? Was that on my Steam? I think so. Yeah. Probably. That's one of them I want to do. There's there's quite a few. Like Never Winter. I want to go back and play that. Uh, well, I've been playing, uh, like I said, Metro, uh, Apex Legends, and Divinity uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. We have been playing that with a couple of our friends. Every Try to do it every Sunday, like a gaming Sunday. Yeah, which is... I think like that for whatever reason whatever reason or however we've been able to stick to that routine I think that game is the one that I tend to find myself thinking about the most. Oh, this as, is really good. As far as my like build is concerned and like what I'm trying to do with my character, like that game I think about a whole lot for some reason. Like I don't know. I just like the I, I like the aspect of my character being like this anti paladin who can heal but who can also like siphon and take hills from people it's something that i don't typically do so like i think that's why i like that game so much right now oh and i went with the classic rogue you know after respecting like five times so what you can if it's <laughs> uh, if you can do it in the game then whatever i want to be a i'm gonna be a battle mage goes into polymorph <laughs> <laughs> yeah that happened I mean, but I, I, hey, I never would have learned that I could have wings or I could turn invisible if I had. I mean, it's a fun game. Like it's, it lets you be whatever the heck you wanted to be, which is, which is why that game's pretty dope. And it'd be cool if I could actually get some loot, but you know, hey, don't look at me. I don't have crap. A lot of people run around with all the loot. You mean one person, and that's your boy Nappa. Yeah, that jerk. But that fun. That game is pretty fun, and I look forward to playing that whenever we do play it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty we're going kind of, we're going, we're, we're kind of going through it. Not how I wanted to, but I think we're slowly kind of getting there. Yeah, because at first we were just let's kill all of this, <laughs> and then because you guys already kind of played it before, but yeah. for me, I was like, no, I want to enjoy this world. Like, there's no let time. Me read the books that are in here. Oh my god! But like, that's why I'm trying to get the pyramids. That way I can just stay in the library and read all the books in the library while you guys are going adventure. And if you find yourself in a fight nerd. and you need me, like, I can go over there. See, but That's all I did in the first one. Like, I think in the first town you get to, there's why a you library. why you never finished the first one. Yeah, I know, but I got some good stories. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> it is good. Like, I think there's a at some point later down the line, like definitely just like dedicate some time just to talking about Divinity because it's such a good game. It um, is. But yeah, the, no, that whole session thing that we have going on like on Sunday mornings, which is pretty cool uh, routine we got going on. So that's pretty nice. So what games am I looking forward to? I am looking forward to The Outer Worlds and Cyberpunk 2077. Was one of the two games. Which I constant like I, I think about should I get those when they come out, but then I, I don't know I still gotta go back and buy like Pillars of Eternity two, but I still need to beat Pillars of Eternity one. <sighs> but I don't wanna, like I'm still playing The Witcher three, but I kind of <sighs> stopped. I kind of stopped because I got that book that you, I think you gifted me for Christmas. Well, damn! I'll take and, it back. Uh, Give it back. But I'm going through the book now, so it's going to be even cooler when I do play the game. Fuck <laughs> a nerd. I'm just delaying playing that game. Like I delayed it for the longest time. Yeah. I was like, I want to play this when it looks super good, when I have good, like... like I had it on PlayStation, and I was like, no, I want to play this on PC, because it probably looks better on PC. Yeah, but see, like at that point, you're doing yourself a disservice, because you're not letting yourself 
enjoy the narrative. Like you're doing it at that point, and let's be for real. At, at that point, when you're waiting for the best possible gameplay experience, you're being a graphic snob at that I point. Am. But there's very, very rare games that I will to do that with, and that was one of them. Because when I played The Witcher and The Witcher 2, it was like years after the fact. So Witcher. I got to play it. <laughs> Like I got, I got to play it on PC, which are two on PC, and it looked the best that it could, and it, I just kind of took the t- my time with it. So that's kind of how I wanted to play that one, Witcher Three. That game is amazing. And now I have like one of the best graphics card out there, so there's Weird no excuse. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's no excuse anymore. So I mean, the only excuse now is that I'm reading the book. That's a good. I mean, that's a good game, but I mean, like, like you need to get. You need to get into it and finish it because that game is on average over a hundred hours, and there's like, what is like twenty some odd ways it can end. Don't spoil it. There are oh spoilers. <laughs> 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 I thought there was only one ending. How do you like? There's one ending. Uh, because I don't read up on it. It's an RPG game. No, nobody's gonna get the same ending. Okay, that that's not true for all RPGs. In no. this RPG game. Well, you just spoiled that. I didn't know that. Oh, God. Get, oh, God. Fucking loser. Oh. Okay, I knew there was like a couple endings. But I thought it was just deciding between this girl or that girl. But now you're telling me there's like 20. This girl and that girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, what that says is that data bots over here Googled and YouTubed who you no, can romance kinda, and get down with. It was kind of a thing when it first came out. People were talking about it. Who'd you go with? This or that. That's where I picked that up from. But yeah, I'm looking forward to The Outer Worlds. I think that game has some unexplored lore. Like, I, I want to know what it's about. I want to know what the fuck The Outer Worlds mean. So far, it's like it seemed kind of like a... I don't know if you ever watched the show Dark Matter, where uh, corporations, worlds, like, they rule space. And so when there's like fights and stuff, like battles or wars, it's not between like worlds or countries. It's all between corporations because they have all the money and they have all the power. And that's what that reminded me when I when I was watching the trailer for uh, The Outer Worlds. Yeah. So like games, like I said earlier, like I'm not, I don't even know what's coming out. I only know of those two games because you've told me about them. The, the only game that I think that I would care about right now, as of right now, that I can be like, yeah, I'm totally into that game. It's going to be whenever we get some more information on the uh, the next Elder Scrolls game. Oh, so in 2025. Like, yeah, that's, okay. that's the only game that I'm really looking forward to. If it ever <laughs> comes out anytime soon. Like, that'd be great. Because I still play Skyrim. I still play Oblivion. And I like Elder Scrolls Online, so I'd love for that game to come back and be the game that I hope it is. All right, so I think that's it for what have you been playing. I don't really have anything that I've started and finished, or vice versa. That's just about everything I play. I start and I don't finish. Any last remarks for this uh, episode one? Not so much. Um, would we are in the works of. Uh, Building the the website that's going to be uh, databots over there is uh, territory. Um, yeah, as far as good, social media is concerned, good though. ideas for your lore podcast. Yeah, I don't think I've told you yet. No, I've no idea. Maybe we'll discuss this on the next podcast. Tight. But as far as social media is concerned, um, we do have some stuff available, but it's not really put together quite yet. Uh, we want to kind of build it as the podcasts are ready to go out. Um, so once, once everything is kind of put together, all of it, everything will be ready to go. And then you can follow us there. In the meantime, if you want, you can totally follow us on our personal accounts. Um, my Twitter is at, at JWAN14. And I'm pretty sure Databots is just at Databots with a Z. So. Very edgy, bro. Very edgy. That's the like that almost ruined my name. Someone said, "Ooh, so edgy." <laughs> so, you know, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> just, just, just like games back back in the day, I've had many gamer handles in the back in the past too. 
This is the one that's been lasted the longest, so I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Alright, guys, tune in next time for episode three. Or no. <laughs> something Wait. else. Tune in next time for episode. Uh, the next episode. The next episode. Of the Digi Tavern. Cue that outro music. I don't have one don't yet, have. but we'll work on it. Yeah, but you'll hear it. Uh, oh, we're doing it live? Okay. Da, 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 da. That's Adrian Fire. Oh, gross. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm out.